Okay, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a warp cube down there. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it to it. Oh man, that's actually really tough to make it to that. Will I be able to land into it? Oh, we could... <laughs> what? <laughs> you could go up here? I didn't know that. <laughs> I think beating this boss is going to be pretty easy too. I think you could just float. Oh, and he gave me an extra boost, too. Today, we played through World 6 of Super Mario 3D World, except every time we complete a level, Peach will be able to float for longer and longer. So let's see what this is going to be like. Let's try to get through this without using any pipes. So right now, Peach's floating is already extended a bit. Let's see, can we go across there? Ah, pretty good. Okay, nice. Doing all right. Oh, no, I accidentally went into a pipe. Oh, you can get that guy to hit those things? Oh, my goodness. That's like a 500 IQ play right there. If you don't have the fire flower, just use the piranha plant to do it for you. Bit of a weird way to do this. Yeah, just get the coins like that. Don't even have to go into the pipe to get them. Okay, pretty easy level. I'd like to do this, dive, jump when you're there, spin jump up here, and then just get to the top of the flag, there we go! Okay, so the first level was already pretty easy, clear pipe cruise is pretty easy, so let's head to Spooky Seasick Wreck. And we can float for even longer now, so let's see how this goes. I'm curious how long- WOW! <laughs> you can float for <laughs> quite a while. Don't really have to worry about the ground if you could just float for this log. Not even gonna use the warp cubes. Just gonna head on over here. Oh, can I make it that high? Yep. Nice, we got a checkpoint. We are back to regular sized peach now. Can we, whoa! I was wondering if we'd be able to float all the way across. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, man. Oh, and I think you have to defeat these guys, right? I'm guessing you do. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Wait, where does that warp cube take you to? I think we actually have to go to that warp cube. That's the end of the level? Are you serious? That's it? This is gonna be such a short video. Okay, and we can just float all the way over to the flag from here. Okay, I had to swap to another file because I didn't have enough green stars for world 6-3. So let's head to world 6-3, and Peach's float distance is doubled again. I don't think there's really going to be much floating around in this level, but let's just see how long we could float for. Wow. You just fly back and forth, left and right. You're in the air for quite a while. Don't worry about the Goombas. I'll just float on by them. They can't get me up here. Wow, you could float so far when you're going fast. It's like you really don't have to touch the ground. Yeah, we could just float on by these. This poses no problem to Peach. She could just float by the entire level like this. Ah, oh, but she does still come down eventually. Get this one. Let's just head on up here. Oh, and I don't even have to reach the ground. Oh, I don't know if I'm high enough. No, I'm not high enough. All right. World 6-4 Deep Jungle Drift. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a super interesting one. Okay, let's get up high. I'd like to get up high, and then we could probably float by the level. I wonder if there are any more... Hold on, I want to go faster. There we go. This is what you like to see. Okay, now let's see how far we could float. Oh, and there's another log ahead of you already. Hopefully I don't fall soon. Man, you go for quite a while. I'm still going... Okay, there we go. Now we finally fell. But man, you just float by the level. Okay, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a warp cube down there. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it to it. Oh man, that's actually really tough to make it to that. Will I be able to land into it? Oh, we could... <laughs> what? <laughs> you could go up here? I didn't know that. <laughs> What's back here? Doesn't look like there's really anything back here because you're not supposed to be back here. Yeah, and a lot of parts of the game... Stuff like this that's normally out of view of the camera just isn't decorated like this. Like, if you just drop down here, it's probably a death area. Let's see. Yeah, oh, okay, when you reach that, it's a death area. I wonder if there's a death area behind that. Let's see if there's anything behind this. I'm guessing there's just going to be a death area below this. 
But if you go far enough, you could probably get past it. Let's see if we just drop down here. Will it be a death area or no? Maybe they didn't add one because they've got this purple goop here. So maybe you just fall forever. That sometimes happens. Oh, there actually is a death area down there. That's kind of surprising that they added one down there. It's good that they did add one there. This music reminds me of The Legend of Zelda a lot. Okay, let's see, where's the warp cube? Let's just get right over it. Let's just position ourselves very carefully. Oh, and that's right there. Now I'm gonna drop in before it comes. There we go. Oh, and there's the end of the level. This reminds me a lot of Spyro for some reason. Oh no, I accidentally let go of the jump button. Kinda nice that you don't have to wait for those wooden rafts. You just move along quickly like this. Can I double float? <gasps> no, you can't float again. Oh boy, once you started floating, you can't hold A again to float again. That is good to know. Let's see if these walls are solid. Nope. <laughs> you just float right through the walls. All right, let's head back before we fall into this poisonous goop, and then we'll explore some more. Man, oh no! I was gonna say, man, we could float for a while, but we just didn't make it back. If I did a dive there, I probably could have still survived. Okay, let's see if those trees in the background are solid. I'm guessing they won't be, but let's see. Nope, you could fly right through them also. Okay, now this time, hopefully I can make it back before falling, haha. <laughs> Okay, good, good. And we still have plenty of time left. Well, not plenty of time, but we have a bit of time left. Yeah, so it's kind of funny that these things in the background here have no collision at all. You could just fly through them. You could fly right through the walls. And that's something that happens in some games. If there's something that's really far in the distance like that, that isn't normally reachable, then sometimes the developers of the game, they just won't add any collision to it because, like, you're not able to reach it anyway, so what's the point? All right, so another level is done, so let's double Princess Peach's floating distance again. Okay, world 6-A is next, the Prince Bully Blockade. And let's see. Oh, if you hit him, you're still floating. Okay, so I wonder if we could do the whole fight while floating. Oh no, but we have to drop down on him to hit him. Oh no, and he came out. Okay, so we can't float the whole time because we have to come down to hit him to damage him. But <laughs> we can get him into the pipe while floating the whole time. We'll just stay in the air as we chase after Prince Bully. And then when he pops out of the pipe, we just, just get him to damage him, but then we just keep floating. Get him into the pipes while floating. Oh, maybe I could have bounced off of him and kept floating. But all right, there's another level done. All right, here is world 6-6, Bullet Bill Base. And Peach will be able to float for even longer now. Let's see, is there anywhere useful that we can go with this floating? It looks like we have to go up, so I'm not sure how useful floating around will be. I don't think we'll just be able to fly to an- Oh yeah, there's just a death barrier there that kills you. So it looks like we'll actually have to climb up a little bit before we start floating across. Can I get up there? I just want to get really high and then just float to the end of the level. Okay, cool. Okay. So, it looks like you're supposed to go over there somewhere. So let's do this. Oh, and the end of the level is probably up there. Alright, just floating on by the level. Man, Peach's floating ability is pretty OP. I like how you can see those moving things when they come into view. They just start moving. You'd get pretty high. Imagine long jumping off the level after all of that. And Peach's float didn't even run out. I wonder how long we could float now. We could float for pretty long. Oh, we skipped 6-5. Okay, so 6-5 is up here and 6-6 is here actually. Okay, so we'll do 6-5 now. Typhoo flurries. I was wondering where 6-5 was. I was thinking that I missed a level. But here we go, world 6-5 Typhoon Flurries. Doesn't matter if those things try to blow me out of the way because I can just keep floating. Let's just float along here. Oh, I don't know if I'm high enough for that. Okay, let's just... Nope, doesn't matter if they try to blow me. I could just, I could just come back, not a problem. There, ah! 
No. <laughs> oh man, I'm not gonna follow the spikes. I'm just gonna go around like this. I could float basically forever. Oh, let's just head on here. I want to jump up high. There we go, and now float from here. Now we can just comfortably float. We don't have to worry about the clear pipes down there. We can just float along the level. What a nice view we have of the level from all the way up there. We can see it coming into view. Now, where is the goal pole going to be? I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere up there in the top right, probably. Let's just float along. I'll just leave the checkpoint flag there. Wow, that wall on the left goes up pretty high. Oh, weird camera angle now. Okay, because you're normally not supposed to be as high as you are right now. So Princess Peach is pretty high up right now. Let's just keep floating. I don't know how long this floating is going to last for, but hey, we're still able to float. So I'll just keep floating. I like that we're still floating this whole time. Yeah, the camera won't even go up high enough. Oh, there we go. There's Princess Peach. Finally, we came down. Okay, not really too worried about these guys blowing me. Oh, that's the end of the level. Would you look at that? And let's see. Yeah, even if that blows me away, it's like, okay. I could just go back here to the flag. And drop down on the very top of the flag. Oh, that's not the flag. I'm way off. <laughs> okay, but there we go. We got the flag. Another 10,000 point pull grab from Peach. Okay, so let's head to world 6-7 next. Fuzzy time mine. We are going to be floating even more now. My goodness. Got a, we can float for pretty long now. I don't know how much floating is going to help us here since we're running away from these fuzzies. Yeah, you can see that the dry boats get a bit confused when you just float in place like that. Wonder if we could go around here or if there's going to be a death area here. I hope there isn't going to be a death area here. Let's see. Oh, there's just a solid wall there that stops you. Interesting, that is certainly an interesting choice if you want to prevent people from going there. What about up here? Oh, um, there's an invisible ceiling here. Okay, yeah, so it's like probably an invisible box area so that you can't go up there. And you also can't run off the level like that. Okay, so I think this is going to be an interesting way to get to the flag. What if we do this? Okay, let's just climb up like this. And now let's float on over to the flag. I think that's a good way to do it. I think that's a good way to do it. You do 90 degree wall jumps there to get up high. And then you just head on over to the flag, position yourself because you could float for so long. And then just drop down on the flag and there you go, that's a good way to get the flag. Alright. We are now heading to the World 6 Castle. Bowser's bob Omb Brigade. Peach is getting ready to be shot out of the cannon going towards these tanks here. And I wonder if we'll just be able to float by the whole level. Let's just get up onto a high tank. And then just float. Just wait for these tanks to come over first. And I wonder how far out this way you can go. Oh, you can't go out very far at all. How about this way? Okay, and then you die after a moment, so you can't go very far that way. Did I just see Peach falling down the corner of the screen there? Let's do this. And wait, if I don't hold the joystick, I think I won't move. I don't think the camera will push me, will it? I think I might have some momentum right now, and that's why I'm just floating by the level. Hopefully that guy's hammers can't reach me up here. But yeah, right now I'm just holding the A button and we're just floating by the level. We're moving at a good speed. Oh, I wonder if I could keep going and skip forward in the level. Will the camera follow me if I move forward? Let's see. I'll just hold forward right now and try to fly through the level. We'll see if we have to wait for the camera to catch up to us or not. Yeah, like it won't let me go forward anymore. I wonder why. Like, I'm holding forward at full speed. But that's as far as it's letting me go. But yeah, it looks like you could just basically float by the entire level. And if you try to float back, then you die. Why do those spikes not hurt that bob Bob? The bob Bob doesn't care. It just stands there and it lets the spikes push it. At least that fire bro is working hard. He's trying to aim at us. Like, the fireballs would be hitting us if we were on the ground. But we're just unfortunately much higher up, so his fireballs are nowhere near us. This fire bro, though, very poor performance. Just throwing fireballs straight into the gap. They're nowhere near us. You don't, you don't stand a chance, fire bro. Why is he jumping back and forth between those tanks? That fire bro could see that we have clearly passed him. And here we go. There, now I'll finally go into the pipe. Oh, and I was floating the entire time, so it looks like I floated by the whole level. You could float for pretty long. 
I think beating this boss is going to be pretty easy, too. I think you could just float. Oh, and he gave me an extra boost, too. So now we'll just float up in the air. And we'll drop down on him when he becomes available again. Just do this. Where is he going to spin? I'd like to drop down on him. I'll wait for him to get dizzy, too. Because I don't want to accidentally land on his arms. There we go. Okay, then let's just bounce up again. Keep floating. Is he going to give me another boost? Oh, he didn't give me another boost this time. Okay, so this time I'll just stay like this. It's like trying to beat the boss without touching the ground. Or touching the ground only once. At the start of the battle, you touch the ground. But after that, you want to stay in the air for the rest of the fight. You can only touch the ground once. And other than that, you could land on Boom Boom's head. Just land on him. There we go. We have defeated Boom Boom with touching the ground only once. That's pretty funny. All right, now just want to get into the warp cube without touching the ground. That should be good. There we go. All right, now can we make it to the flag floating from here? Let's see. Just float on over. Uh-oh, hopefully that doesn't trigger a cutscene. Okay, I was worried that if I was floating around here, then maybe the fairy would be like, Hey, hello, come help me. And then when the cutscene ended, it would end Peach's floating state, and then she would just fall down. Let's see if any of those things... Oh, I want to test if those things in the background have collision, but... There's probably a death barrier. You probably die if you go to them. Let's test it out, though. Ah. Not a good camera. Because, yeah, because the camera normally follows you here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. <gasps> can I not get on here? Okay, I'm going to have to go to somewhere lower so that I can get back on. Oh, and time is running low. All right, let's test this out. Oh! ah! <laughs> okay, so what ends up happening is the lighting changes once you get far enough, probably once you make it outside of the graphics area, and then there is a death area outside that, so yeah, we went into the death area. Yeah, so I don't think we'll be able to make it over to those walls. As we start to move this way... Yeah, there we go, the death area is right there. There's probably going to be the same thing if you head over this way. Yeah, once you head far enough, there are death areas around here. I just had a thought. I thought, why don't I just remove these death areas? So there, I've removed the death areas. So now we'll see if these things here in the background have any kind of collision. Oh, I might be too high. Man, that's going to be very hard to judge depth perception to see if we're close enough or not to fall in it. Oh, there we go. Now the lighting starts to change. Oh, things start to get blurry. Maybe now we'll get to see. Will we slide against this? I think we might actually be pushing against it. Let's see. Whoa. Is that as far out as you can go? Wait, no. That's so weird. What about over here? I can't tell if I'm on it or not. Okay, I'll do something risky. I'll try diving. <laughs> I wanted to try setting Peach's spawn position to be on top of one of those towers. So let's see what happens when we start the level. Whoa. I think I landed on something. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I also wanted to try going back to an older level to see what it'd be like if we could float through an older level. So let's give Super Bell Hill a shot with Peach's floating ability. Let's see if we can make it to the end of the level by floating. I don't know if we'll be high enough for the death barriers or not. But let's see. Let's just try to float through the whole level. Just floating on by here. Don't touch the ground. That is the objective. Don't touch the ground. Hopefully you don't die if you go here. Hopefully this isn't low enough to kill you. Maybe we'll be okay. Maybe we could actually float through the whole level. Oh, I don't know if we'll be high enough to make it to the flag. There's the pipe that normally launches you out. We are just passing by under it. Goodbye, pipe. We don't need a pipe today. We can float. I think we might actually be able to make it to the flag just by floating through the entire level. We could use Peach's shadow as a guide here. Because the camera isn't going high enough to let us see here. Oh, and here we go! <gasps> okay, it's not going to be a 10,000 point pole grab, but we are going to be able to make it to the pole. That's pretty good! From the beginning of the level, you can float all the way over to it like this. 
If you have any other level suggestions that you'd like to see Princess Peach float through, you could let me know in a comment on this video, and I often post short clips and updates on my Twitter. A big thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting my content creation, and a big thank you to you for watching this video. I hope that you all have a fantastic day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.